student in a health professions program, it is imperative that you know how to search a database to find research to ensure positive outcomes for your patients. Let's take a look at how to do this in OCCC's most used research platform, EBSCOhost. In this video, you will review evaluating research through levels of evidence and where to locate methodologies in research articles, the basics of working in EBSCO and specific filters available in databases like CINAHL, and how to pull evidence-based care sheets. Let's take a quick minute to look at levels of evidence when reviewing research articles. While there are many ways to conduct research studies, not all of them carry the same weight as others. There are seven levels of evidence that healthcare students and professionals can use to evaluate what they are looking at. At the lowest level, we have opinion-based research. Think four out of five dentists recommend this particular brand of gum. At the highest levels, you will find research-based evidence. These will often involve meta-analysis or systematic reviews. These studies review available evidence and seek to answer a clinical question. You will find case studies throughout the middle levels based on what methodologies those researchers used. Research articles will often be extremely transparent with their methodologies, which can help you start evaluating very quickly. In fact, you can often find that information in the title of the article you are looking at. If you're unable to locate the methodology in the article title, you should be able to locate it in the article's abstract. Should you find a source that is not super transparent about its practice, it may be best to reevaluate using that piece of research. Now that we know the basics of vetting our articles, let's find some using EBSCO. First, head to the library's website, www.occc.edu slash library. From the library homepage, locate the Start Your Search box and click on the Articles tab. From the Articles tab, click on the EBSCO link. To start searching for articles that are most relevant to you as a health professional, click the searching link towards the middle of your screen. By default, EBSCO will have all 30 databases in its system selected. To start reducing the number of databases, uncheck the Select All box. While you can search all of these databases, for you as a health profession student, the most relevant to your needs are CINAHL, Medline, and HealthSource. It may save you time later to limit the number of databases you use, and some filters may only be available when working in just one database. You will find them grouped together on the database list. Once you have unchecked the Select All box and checked your relevant databases, you can click on the Select button. Now, before we can start the search, we need a question. For this video, our question will be, are there benefits to incorporating video game therapy in traditional PT exercises to improve motor function for patients recovering from stroke? EBSCO uses keywords, search terms, or mesh terms to index articles within their system. So unfortunately, we cannot enter an entire question or sentence into the search bar as it would look for every word in that sentence together. Breaking our question into search terms or keywords can be extremely helpful. Formats like Pico, for example, are great to get us started with brainstorming. We know our patient has experienced a stroke. We want to know if an intervention like video games could be beneficial to their recovery. We could try to compare this with the success rate of other physical therapy exercises and we would want our patient to experience better motor function as an outcome. We can use these terms in different configurations to get different results from our databases. The researchers who write systematic reviews and meta-analyses can spend months working with their librarians and databases compiling results with different search strategies. So it is okay and normal for you to need to try multiple searches to find the articles you need. For this example, we will keep things simple and just use stroke and video games from our possible search terms to begin. It can be helpful to keep track of your terms by placing them into separate search boxes. And to ensure that you're reviewing the latest research available, you will need to pull articles published within the past five years. You can do this by clicking on the past five years filter. When you're ready, click the search button to get started. 
EBSCOhost has brought back 232 articles for us to start working with. We can use the peer-reviewed filter to make sure that we are working with academic sources. That filter has reduced our list by five articles already. We can continue to refine our results through the All Filters button. Filters that can be extremely helpful for someone working in healthcare are gender or sex, age, and location. In EBSCO, some filters can become available by working with just one database. In CINAHL, you can work with options that allow you to filter for evidence-based practices, metasynthesis, or even when you need an article written by nurses. As you can see, Medline also offers unique filters for its databases. Again, researchers work with databases, search terms, and filters in many different combinations to find the sources they need. Make the time in your schedule to try out different things when working in EBSCO to get the best results to ensure the best outcomes for your patients. Another resource available to you from EBSCOhost are evidence-based care sheets. To begin accessing them, click the searching link. Only have CINAHL checked from the database list. Type in the condition or term into the top search bar, then click search. Click the All Filters button. Click the Source Type drop-down menu, check Evidence-Based Care Sheets, then click Apply. You can then click on the Title or the Access Now button to begin reviewing the care sheet. In this video, you reviewed evaluating research through levels of evidence and where to locate the methodologies in research articles. The basics of working in EBSCO hosts and specific filters available to you in databases like CINAHL and how to pull evidence-based care sheets. Thanks for watching. Visit our website for more help.